Okay, these next problems, um, it says solve the system of equations, either method. Okay, well I have graphing, substitution, and elimination. Um, since all I have a bunch of fractions, the first thing I want to do is be able to get rid of the fractions. And then I'm going to use elimination on this problem. So the first thing is to let's multiply equation 1 through by least common denominator. So least common denominator for equation 1 is going to be a 6. So if I multiply everything in equation 1 by 6, now I want to simplify. Divide by 6 and I get 1. Divide by 6 and I get 1. So I'm going to say 1 times 5x is 5x. The second term, I'm going to divide by 6. Divide by 6 and I'm going to have 1 times negative 1 is negative 1y. And the last term, if I divide by 3, and then I divide this by 3, I'm going to have 2 left over. Well, now I'm going to multiply 2 times 8, that was already there, and get 16. Okay, we simplified the first equation. Now we want to get rid of fractions in the second equation, so we find a least common denominator between these, which is going to be a 4, and I multiply each term by 4. Divide by 2, and I'm going to have a 2. So I take the 2 that's left over and multiply it times that 1, and I'm going to have 2x. Divide by 4 here, divide by 4, and it goes away. So I have a 3y that's still there. Divide by 2 in this term. Divide by 2, so I'm going to have 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. First step is to multiply through everything um, for it to get rid of your fractions, and you do that by multiplying by a least common denominator and simplifying. Now I'm going to look at these two and evaluate. I said I wanted to use elimination, just so you can see practice using elimination. I either make my x variables eliminate, or I can choose to like make my y variable. Now, this has a known coefficient of a 1, so I see it would be quite easy to make these two eliminate. I would need this to be negative 3y and this to be positive 3y. So to get this to be negative 3y, all I need to multiply by is a 3. So if I have to multiply the whole thing by 3 and then distribute, 3 times 5 is going to be 15x. minus 3y. And don't forget this one. This last one is the one most people forget. The blue equation, I'm going to leave it exactly the same. We didn't do anything to it, so I'm just going to carry it down exactly the same. And now I'm going to add down 17x. These cancel just like we thought. If not, we made a mistake. And then we get 34. Divide both sides by 17 and x equals 2. Now, once x equals 2, we can either go back into the original equation where the fractions are, or I'm going to go back into either one of these. I'll take that first one in red, the original one in red, which is going to be 5x minus y equals 16, and in that I'm going to substitute x equals 2 right there. So it's going to be 5 times 2 minus y equals 16. Multiply, 5 times 2 is 10. 16, get y by itself. Divide both sides by negative, and y equals negative 6. So my ordered pair is 2, negative 6. Problem number 8, I'm going to choose to use substitution, but the first thing I'm going to do is solve the first equation for x, since there's only one variable in there, and we already know what our x value is. It's the fraction 14 thirds, so all we need to do now is substitute that in that position. So I have y equals 1 minus, and I'm going to put 14 thirds now. Now remember to add or subtract fractions, we have to have a common denominator, so we need, this is really like the fraction 1 over 1, we need them to have a common denominator of a 3. Well the only way to make 1 go to 3 is to multiply by 3, multiply by 3, 
in which we see 3 divided by 3 would be 1. So we're going to let that represent our 1. And then minus 14 thirds. Now that they have a common denominator, I can say 3 minus 14 is negative 11 thirds. And then my ordered pair, make sure you put the x value before the y value. that. Number nine, I'm going to use elimination, try to eliminate, but I'm going to see if I can get rid of decimals first. When I evaluate equation one, I see one decimal place here, one here, so if I move the decimal one place to the right in every position, one place to the right, it would get rid of the decimals in the first equation. That's just like multiplying everything by ten. So we have 4x minus 15, well, we moved it to the right so that becomes 40x, minus 15, y equals 102, okay? In the bottom equation, the second one, I see this one has one decimal place, but this one has two. To be able to get rid of all of them, I have to account for the one with the most, so I want to shift everything two places to the right. So this becomes 200x plus 780y equals negative 2,568. Now, although those seem like big numbers, it's not going to be too bad. We can choose to work with the x value to eliminate it or the y. Well, I'm more familiar with multiples of 10 than I am of that, so I'm going to eliminate. I need this to be... Um, a negative 200. So how can I make 40 become negative 200 so that these two eliminate? I would need to multiply everything in this equation by negative 5. I'm going to distribute that out. Negative times a negative is going to be a positive 75y. And then negative 5 times 102 is negative 510. The bottom equation in blue, I'm going to leave it exactly the same. Now add down these cancel, that's what we were hoping for. 855y equals negative 3078. Divide both sides by 855. Put that in the calculator and we have y equals negative 3.6. Well, we know our y value. Now we need to substitute back into either one of the original and find our x. So I'm just going to go back into my original equation one, which is 4x minus 1.5y equals 10.2. Make sure it's your original. And now I'm going to substitute this in place of the y. So I have 4x minus 1.5 times negative 3.6 equals 10.2. Negative 1.5 times negative 3.6 is positive 5.4. Subtract 5.4 from both sides. Four x equals four point eight. Divide both sides by four. X equals one point two. Now we need to write these as an ordered pair, so it's the ordered pair. One point two, comma. Negative 3.6. This is our solution to number 9.